Love line 1-800-LOVE-191. Corn, it's Jonathan Davis in here with us tonight. Lots and lots of uh, in the props house. for him, lots of questions. In the house. And a lot of people go into the mortuary science, they call it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, because it's usually a family-run businesses, but it's you know, been taken over by a lot of big corporations now. But usually it was a family thing, and they go to the schools. So or just people just get into it because they like it. Um, there's a morbid curiosity. Is there anything, any, right, is there a common sort of personality or interest? We're, or? we're just usually the freaks. People the outcast, the ones that like they, when I was doing that at, in high school, people just were scared of me. Oh really? Do you like that? Kind of, yeah. I kept people away from me because I hate people. It irritate me. Do you hate people now? No, I'm. I'm I in generally hate people. I like individuals. That's my thing. Well, now let me. This is interesting because okay. because it, it's. I'm watching you feel good getting props from people. I mean, if, yeah, I can tell that good. feels good to you. So you like getting positive from people, and people. The fact that they could go bad on you, be threatening or negative or negative make you vulnerable, doesn't, get, doesn't, get doesn't bother you. I mean, you like crowds. I mean, you like yeah. the 200,000 at yeah. Woodstock. That, that felt good. That feels good. But just, I don't know, just, I think it's... The small groups, like social groups about you, or...? I guess it would be social groups if, you know, I had a horrible time going through high school because of just being picked on, being called a homosexual my whole life. Yeah. People thought I was gay because I lived in Bakersfield and at that time, you know, it was very hip town. It's not that way anymore. Um, Oh yeah, actually, it's I like cosmopolitan it. now. It's not. It's, well, it's, it's way better than it was a long time ago. But anyways, I was into like Duran Duran and the New Romantic scene back in the early '80s. Yeah, yeah. So I wore eyeliner. Thanks, man. Eyeliner and stuff like that. So, so I got I got teased a lot. So, and so. a redneck. A lot of rednecks there then. Yeah. Well, not redneck. It's just jock mentality. Oh, I see. Interesting. You know, you know what I'm saying? I see. So, so you just get picked on. I guess it's just left over from that. But then now, then doesn't being in front of people help you? It's in, changed me definitely. It makes now, you, you I, like I that. You like. I like that. being in front of people and and people. If they like our band, great. If they don't like our band, I don't really care anymore. But but it oh, it helped you overcome some of those those kind of things, those that, boundaries to relationships me, and closeness. And yeah, stuff. it gave me self. I believe that's what that's what uh, doing something what, good gave me confidence in myself. Yeah, I, I really believe that's sometimes what makes people perform is that they have something about their ability to make contact with other people that's not right, and the audience provides that and yeah. then fills them, and then they get better with individuals. Because really? individuals start coming to you now. Yeah. Right? They're interested in you. They come yeah. to give you pop props, and that feels good. Yeah, it feels really yeah. good. It's like I'm, a group of people I like. I mean, they're just, there's other groups of people I can't stand. Were, were you, was your family of origin anything going on there? Yeah. Not Nothing with my family. I mean, it was a stable family? Were yeah. Oh, no, or divorced, definitely. How old were you when they divorced? Three. Oh. Did you have a relationship with your dad growing up? Yeah. He was on the road, too, but he was a musician, so. Oh, interesting. Yeah. And a good relationship? Yeah. Everything's and, good. And mom was cool? Everything's good, yeah. Interesting. That's really interesting.